Patrick Doughty, the writer and uh, co-director next to David Nixon. And Letters to God is inspired by my son, Tyler, and the way he lived his life, and the way he loved God no matter what the circumstances he was put in. He was diagnosed with mesuloblastoma, a brain tumor. And once Tyler was finished with his chemo and his treatments and stuff, they, they placed him loosely in, in remission. And nine months later is when he was re-diagnosed. God granted me one more Christmas with him. A few more months beyond that. During his um, treatments and such, I came up with the title, Letters to God. In January of 07, almost two years after he passed away, I decided um, it's time, you know, it's time to write the story. That's so right. I decided to develop uh, a fictional story around his cancer story. And um, God started opening doors for me. You know, this boy was put on this earth with a message, and I feel like his message was love and, you know, hope, and, and that I was responsible for spreading his message, you know. I feel like he's still a light for Jesus and will continue for years to come because of this film, the opportunity that God has given me to share what I feel Tyler's message for everyone was, which is, you know, love. And being that, that, that beacon that, that draws non-believers to you and want to know what the difference is. And we all know that's Jesus. The following verses are appropriate and apply to what we're doing, which is Matthew 5, 14 through 16. And it says, you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So I'm gonna end there and uh, end on a prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for bringing each and every one of these individuals together for this beautiful project. Father, I ask that you use this film to minister to millions around the world, Father. Lord, I pray and I ask that if there may be anyone here that does not know you, that through this experience and through our are witnessing that light on the hill, that beacon for you, Father, and everything that we do glorifies you. Allow us to film each scene how they're supposed to be filmed, and know that we're doing this for you, Lord, and to glorify you. I ask all these things in your precious name. Amen.